Good morning, everyone. Welcome to True Data Bookmap India launch. I hope you're able to hear me properly. So let's get started with today's webinar. Um, so starting off with today's agenda. All right, so in today's uh, meeting, we'll be covering the speakers of the session. I'll be walking you through what Bookmap actually is. Um, followed by, we'll give you an overview of the partnership between True Data and Bookmap. Eventually, we'll actually showcase the platform. How does it look like? How do you get started with Bookmap? And followed by a Q&A session. So um, feel free to ask any question that you have. So on the right-hand side, you must be seeing a tab which says questions. So just hit the questions tab and over there you can mention whatever questions you have and make sure to hit send to all so that we can answer your questions towards the end. Thank you. All right, so for today uh, we have two exclusive speakers with us. We have Mr. Kapil Marwa who is the MD of True Data and uh, along with Kapil we also have Bruce Pringle who is joining us from Bookmap and he leads the education. And I'm your host for today. I'm Urvashi Ghosh, and I lead marketing and partnerships at Bookmap. Now let's have a look of um, the overview of Bookmap. So Bookmap was actually established in the year 2007. Um, the past employees and the current employees actually include former algo traders, quant researchers, and high frequency traders. We are the leading developer of charting tools, data analytics and visualizations and we also provide trading functionalities for stocks and futures now um, this is one of the you know questions that people actually ask us like why are traders even using bookmap when there are other tools there in the market so primarily uh, people are using this particular platform because of three main reasons number one is market transparency second is to improve their decision making skills and also to get better insights so you actually feel the patterns, you feel the market movements, and you also improve your trading time over the period of uh, duration. Now, in terms of market coverage, we provide worldwide market coverage, both in terms of connections and customers. So our connections and customers are from America, Europe, Middle East, and Asia Pacific regions. In terms of partners, so in the stocks and futures segments, we've partnered with some of the leading brokers and market data vendors um, in the US and beyond. And in terms of crypto segment, we have um, more than 20 exchanges that we support. So um, now, Kapil will actually take us through the overview of the partnership as to what the partnership looks like uh, between True Data and Bookmap. So, Kapil, over to you. Uh, thank you so much, uh, Urvashi. Uh, can you hear me? Yes. Okay. Uh, thank you so much, Urvashi, and uh, thank you all uh, for joining us today for this uh, first launch webinar. Uh, uh, those of you who don't know me, I am uh, Kapil Marwa. I am the Managing Director at True Data. And today, uh, we are really very excited to announce this launch of uh, True Data with Bookmap. However, before I proceed any further, it would not be right for me if I don't talk to you about your host for today, this webinar, who just spoke to you, uh, Urvashi Ghosh. Uh, Urvashi is a, a global marketing professional with over eight years of experience in consulting, in digital marketing, in uh, customer lifestyle marketing, and in international business expansion strategy for both corporate and even for lean startups. She has worked with more than 20 brands globally and is uh, currently leading marketing at Bookmap uh, for India and beyond. Urvashi has been uh, instrumental in bringing about uh, this exclusive partnership between Bookmap and True Data, and that is why this mention of her here. If you continue to use Bookmap India uh, with True Data, uh, you will find that uh, you will keep hearing from her from time to time as we progress in this journey. Uh, True Data has uh, enabled this long-awaited entry of Bookmap into the Indian markets. We are really very overwhelmed uh, to see the response we have received at launch with so many users uh, are so happy and encouraging us so much. Uh, thank you all so much for that 
and uh, we will look to move ahead from here on. And this exclusive partnership uh, combines the power of Bookmap uh, with TrueData's industry leading and low latency data feed. It helps you analyze the Indian markets like never before. Uh, even cryptocurrency data is uh, available to you for your analysis uh, whenever you use Bookmap in any of the uh, products we provide. Uh, True Data's connection with Bookmap uh, currently offers a level one data, which is uh, best bid and ask data. But more and more depth of market uh, will be added uh, in the coming future. Uh, for now, you get access uh, to the NSC equities, uh, futures, currencies, uh, the currency derivatives, and MCX. Uh, both these markets come with level one data. Uh, we are also coming up with uh, BSC data, which will start with level two. Uh, very soon hopefully and uh, this will be followed by more depth for NSC which will be level 2 and 3 depth in the coming future. Of course you also get uh, cryptocurrency markets uh, like I mentioned earlier with full market depth. Uh, to get started uh, you will need to go to bookmap.truedata.in and sign up. Uh, you can get started uh, with even a free package and uh, details of which I shall uh, cover uh, shortly. Uh, we also have a Discord and uh, Telegram channels. The Telegram channel mainly provides you updates and information about everything Bookmap plus True Data. While the Discord channel is a place where uh, communities can chat and discuss all market related ideas with other traders. Uh, in case you have any additional requests, uh, please email us at support at truedata.in. And uh, if you chat with our live chat, uh, and need some support, our team will even take you on remote desktop support via TeamViewer and desk to help you set up and uh, get started. I'll briefly cover the uh, types of packages available to you before we go on to the uh, education aspect. Uh, we have uh, created four packages. Uh, one is the lifetime free package, which you get uh, just on registering. Uh, this is a free package, uh, which has uh, a crypto, Plus it has one symbol from uh, the NSC, uh, which we have put as the reliance, it's the equity symbol. This will help you analyze uh, uh, how you can use the uh, equities uh, and futures and options symbols from true data uh, and use them with bookmap. Uh, also note that I have uh, not pasted the entire list of, uh, you know, uh, uh, comparisons what you can do is you can visit the bookmap.tool.in and you can see the entire comparisons but what I've listed here are the advanced add-ons which are a major difference between all the versions uh, in the free version you get the cumulative volume Delta and also in the basic version whereas in the bookmap India pro version you get these advanced add-ons all of them we will be covering all these add-ons uh, in our uh, subsequent uh, webinars these are advanced add-ons some of them will be covered today in brief but uh, from time to time, we'll be having webinars where we'll cover all this. So we have the Bookmap India basic version. Uh, uh, the lifetime free package uh, provides you just one symbol at a time. The basic version enables you to view three symbols at a time. The pro version enables you to view 10 symbols at a time. The data pack only is for existing uh, international Bookmap users uh, who can add uh, data for uh, the Indian markets by paying this fee. So uh, in brief, uh, this is if you want a more detailed understanding of these packages, I would request you to go to bookmap.truedata.in and just scroll down to this uh, comparison page. Uh, moving on to the most important part of this webinar, uh, let me first tell you something about our uh, lead educator, Bruce Pingle, uh, who will today cover all the uh, very basic uh, introduction of uh, Bookmap with True Data in this very first webinar. So Bruce has been uh, trading a variety of markets for over 10 years now. He's an experienced trader and educator. He leads uh, Bookmap's trading education department and supports traders and even professional educators. Uh, Bruce has developed an expertise in reading order flow and market microstructure as you will see uh, as we go along this journey from time to time. Uh, make sure that you listen to him attentively and go over all his educational material uh, which we'll release from time to time. Uh, and get the most out of your Bookmap India subscription. In this webinar, you're going to learn how to connect via True Data. 
they're going to learn all the very basics and a small amount of uh, things to uh, take you forward. You'll discover Bookmap's uh, unique visualizations and you'll understand how to gain an edge using Bookmap. Note that uh, uh, this webinar is being done during market hours to display you the true power of Bookmap with true data. Uh, this which is the best time to show you how you can use it best. A small introduction about the backfill. Uh, uh, Bookmap does provide the backfill for the uh, entire data of the scripts. However, what you need to know is that the backfill is provided for mostly for the actively traded symbols, but not for all symbols, uh, which makes sense because this tick backfill is available for a week based on your subscription. Uh, most probably you would need for a couple of days, but you can go up to a week, uh, which will be explained to you and shown to you as uh, by Bruce as we go along. Uh, we'll be having regular webinars and video tutorials from time to time on various topics and uh, all the additional add-ons on those will be uploaded on the True Data's YouTube channel. Please do remember to subscribe. Also, this webinar is being recorded and we'll upload it there for you to refer. Uh, from here on. Uh, this webinar mainly helps you know to break the ice with people who have never heard of Bookmap earlier and uh, wish to get started. So then let's get started. Uh, over to you Bruce. Okay, thank you Capital. Can everyone hear me? Uh, and let me uh, take the presentation here. Okay, and can you see my screen? We're looking at the nifty uh, symbol here. Yes, we can Bruce. Okay, excellent. Okay, all right. Well, um, uh, thank you, Kapil, uh, for the introduction and Urvashi as well. Uh, and uh, just uh, for those of you who uh, aren't familiar with Bookmap, um, the, um, the goal here is to just kind of cover the basics uh, so you understand what you're looking at here uh, and how to, how to connect it. We'll, we'll go through that uh, briefly as well. Uh, but how to understand how to read it and gain an edge using the software. Uh, the visual uh, transparency here uh, is rather unique uh, compared to other softwares out there uh, and um, uh, offers uh, deeper insight uh, which will allow you to make better trading decisions. Uh, so uh, when we take a look here uh, at, at the uh, bookmap chart, uh, in fact, uh, we have the subchart here in the cumulative volume of delta in the subchart, and I'm going to close that for now. Uh, and we're just going to look at uh, the main chart here for the Nifty. Uh, we have some data columns over here, uh, and we also have um, uh, this vertical white line, which separates the historical chart here over on the left uh, and the current market here. Uh, on the right of the vertical to the vertical white line here. So this is our current best bid and offer right here. This number is the last traded volume, uh, and this is the price ladder here. Okay, so uh, we do have the level one data, which you can see right here on best bid and offer, uh, and then these columns are volume columns. So those of you familiar with volume profile uh, know exactly what these are. Uh, there's two different columns in here. Uh, I'll talk about that in a little bit. You can add multiple columns in uh, and look at the data in, in multiple ways as well. Um, so uh, volume is low. Okay, let me try to turn this up a little bit. If you can hear me better, does that help? Um, okay, well, I'm pretty close to the mic. Um, all right, so uh, let's just cover, first off, what are we looking at here uh, on this book map chart? Well, there's only two elements on this chart right now. and it might look a little foreign uh, to a lot of traders when they initially look at this. Uh, and uh, that's understandable because the visualization of the data is unique. Uh, and uh, we'll just go over the first element to begin with. And, and let me take the volume off uh, the chart right now. Uh, right now, what you're looking at is only uh, streaming best bid and offer. It's pure price action. Uh, that, that's what you're seeing here. Uh, and um, uh, there's no time frame here uh, on, on pure price action. I mean, we can look at uh, each vertical dotted line here, uh, and uh, you can see the, uh, the, the timeline or the time frame here. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, it's actually New York time right now, but uh, that's okay. Um, uh, the, um, 
each vertical dotted line here is showing you five minutes of data between each vertical dotted line. Uh, so we can overlay a candlestick chart on here. We do have candles, uh, and we have a five-minute candlestick chart here. So the, the issue here with the candlestick chart uh, is uh, every five minutes or whatever time period or volume period or range bar period, whatever it is that you're looking at, even point and figure, rotational, uh, conditional period, um, it is a period of aggregated data. The problem there uh, is what happens during that period of aggregation is not available to you. Uh, and uh, once the period closes, uh, for example, with five minute candlesticks here, we only get four data points, open, high, low, and close. Uh, and we're trying to read and understand and gain uh, financial, um, important financial insight here based on very, very limited data. Uh, and uh, here's why this is such a problem. Uh, we can look right at this example here in this big uh, red down candle. Uh, it just didn't, price didn't go straight down like this and then go sideways and then go straight down and go down again. There's nuances in here. Uh, in fact, we can see it right in front of us. Uh, there is an area of consolidation right here, and it broke. Uh, sellers came in, and we'll turn on the volume in a minute here, uh, but I just want to show you price structure and price action compared to the candles. Uh, and then uh, it broke, and it went down and started to trade into another uh, zone or area. But look at the nuance in here. It broke. It came back. It retested where it broke from and then it continued down. These little areas and understanding the retests and the order flow within these areas will allow you to uh, optimize your trading, uh, to really um, uh, pinpoint areas of entry and exit uh, for yourself. Uh, and, uh, and retests again. So look how even this small consolidation structure has meaning, it has significance. This is where the next range started. None of that is within this candlestick right here. Okay, we can go down to a one minute and, and break it down. It's still aggregated data within a one minute period. Uh, it doesn't matter. So we'll take the candlesticks off the chart uh, and we're gonna look at pure price action uh, and start to understand what's going on just with price action. Well, it's pretty bearish right now. Uh, we're making lower lows. We're just breaking now and it's gonna search for and explore for a new range. Likely, it's going to be something like the previous range, so we kind of look for kind of a measured move, something like that. And there it goes. Uh, and um, uh, it's actually going further. Maybe come down to the figure down here at 17,000 um, and get a test down in that area here. Um, so uh, uh, anyway, Right now, uh, we, we're just looking at one very simple element and already getting understanding of what's going on with, within the price action here, just by looking at best bid and offer. Uh, now, we're going to add the second element on here. And guys, I'll get to your questions, uh, no problem. Uh, just uh, um, I, I see some nice questions already. Um, I'm going to just go through the presentation here and then come back and um, um, back to the questions. All right. Uh, so please uh, write them, put them in, and uh, I will double back and, and get to your questions. Uh, all right, so the um, uh, price structure here, uh, that's what we've been just talking about, just that. Uh, in fact, let me um, uh, now add the second element on the bookmap chart, and that is volume. Uh, there's different ways for filtering for the volume. I'm going to show you a very simple way uh, right off the bat here. Uh, we're just looking at the aggressor here. This is um, market buy orders and market sell orders. Green dots are market buy orders. That's actually what moves the market, technically. Uh, uh, that's part of our bookmap education. We talk about um, at, at most binary levels what moves the market and to understand order flow. Uh, and uh, it is the aggressor. Uh, here we can see clearly who's in control. It is sellers. Uh, they've broken this range here on heavy selling. Uh, we see a little, we see some buying in here. We see more selling though. It drives it to a lower low. And then here again, more selling, 
and a lower low. Uh, clearly they are in control. Uh, so uh, uh, now we're just looking for maybe pullbacks to some of these areas here, just like we were looking for that pullback here uh, earlier in the candlestick example. Uh, and then looking for uh, potential uh, continuation or maybe just a chop for a little bit in a, in a range here. And then maybe that move into 1700 or 17,000 down here. Uh, hasn't hasn't quite gotten to that figure yet. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, now we're starting to understand and we have context within the structure. Uh, very simple uh, context here. Where's the volume trading within the structure? Uh, and it's giving us a lot of insight already. We know that there's more sellers at these lower lows. Uh, there's not enough buyers in here. Uh, to uh, uh, look for maybe an equal high or maybe a higher high. Uh, there's just no interest right now. So we're still looking for trend to continue. Now, uh, order flow might change. Okay? Maybe it comes shy of the figure down here at 17,000 and then we see buyers come in. Let's go through that. what that scenario might look like. Uh, we'll take a look here. Uh, you can see the, uh, the selling cluster in here. Well, this is where we need to see buyers come in up here around this 25 level. Uh, and we'd be looking for, uh, and let me get the pen out here. Hold on. I think, let me know if you guys can see this pen. Um, and um, uh, it should work. Or I can use the pen and go to webinar here. Yeah, there it is. Hold on. Okay. All right, and let's just choose blue. Okay, so the, the, first off, what we're looking for in general here um, is con trend continuation until we see something different in the order flow. So right now, we're still looking for less buyers up in this area, more sellers to take this down into lower areas here, into the figure, maybe spike below it here. That's the primary scenario in the order flow that we're looking for. Uh, the secondary scenario though, uh, that would be if, what if uh, we don't get sellers in here and we start to get buyers back up in this area that we just outlined okay, in the market structure. Uh, then we're looking for buyers up in here and we're looking for big green dots. Okay, I don't have green in the color palette, but uh, uh, substitute blue here. Uh, and we'd be looking for buyers to try to take this higher and probably test back up to the top of the range here, you know, something like that. Uh, in the order flow. Uh, you can see clearly what, what's happening here. The primary scenario is the move down into the figure, uh, which it's just about doing right now. Uh, and uh, see if we can spike through it as well. Um, but uh, uh, anyway, uh, these are different scenarios to look for in the order flow. Um, and just starting to outline them and what they might look like if we get a change uh, in the order flow. So uh, the um, uh, it, it, it's telling us right in front of us here, um, you know, what's, what's happening in primary scenario. Well, we didn't get our buyers up here. We started to see sellers down here. Yes, we're looking for them uh, to break the low uh, and get back down into a lower low, back down at the figure here. Okay, so pretty, pretty uh, you know, small move, but nonetheless, uh, it is context of uh, market structure created by the price action. Uh, and then volume within that structure uh, that gives us the insight here. Okay, so uh, are there any questions on this? Let me take a, a quick look here. Okay, Manish, you're, you're already a, a bookmap user. All right, well, welcome uh, back. And you're looking at the NQ, stop on stop uh, icebergs, etc. Um, yeah, this is only level one uh, with um, uh, India data here. Uh, so uh, stops and icebergs is only for MBO uh, data, it's, so that's not available. But you will get the sweeps and, and the iceberg, I'm sorry, the sweeps and absorption indicator uh, uh, in here. All right. Guys, there's a ni nice spike there uh, below the figure uh, and, and continuation here. Uh, so uh, now I'm really I'm really curious here if uh, uh, we can see maybe a retest right back 
to uh, the um, uh, where we just dropped from, right, right up in here. And then maybe we'll, let's see if we can even get an upended here, uh, that secondary scenario here. Now it's a long shot right now, uh, but uh, a lot of times, typically uh, below big figures, important figures like this, uh, get everyone going short. Uh, everyone stopped out below the figure here. Uh, and then you start to see buying inch back in uh, and then really pick up up here uh, and then you get a squeeze, a short squeeze uh, to the upside. So it's just, we're just talking about scenarios here. It hasn't done it, but we'll, we'll be looking for it. Okay, so uh, and what might it look like? Well, it's already starting to kind of do it. So here, look at, look at the selling in here and look at the selling here. The co again, context and structure. So uh, here, on the second leg here, uh, on the retest of the low here, we're not getting a lot of sellers down here. See how we're starting to get buyers up here? We've already broken this small structure and we're still getting buyers above it. Not a whole lot, but we're getting them. So we're looking for that pullback to the figure. Okay, it's just, just about did it here. Uh, and it's also possible now to get buyers back up above it, okay, like that uh, scenario we just outlined here. So it again, this is how you can read this and use this to your advantage. Uh, let's just go over uh, again and kind of reiterate here. Um, if we're looking at a uh, a candlestick chart, and you're looking at maybe a double low, let's go to a one minute candlestick chart here. Hold on. Okay, and you're looking at maybe a double a double bottom here. Well, here's what you're getting. One candle that's almost identical to the next is set as an up candle. Uh, we're trying to get insight here, and we are getting it here by understanding the, the price structure and the volume within it. Lots of selling here, very little selling here. Okay, so uh, if there's not enough sellers here, we're not looking for it to break lower. In fact, we'd be looking for uh, traders to trade it back into some of these volume clusters here, which is exactly what they did uh, back up into the uh, the figure here. Uh, and you can also see pretty nicely in here some, some uh, retest to market structure. So we kind of had a structure here, a small one here, uh, a bigger one here in the break, and a retest back up to it right now. All right. So, uh, and again, we're open to it. It's, uh, we, we haven't seen it yet, but we're waiting and watching for this scenario here. If we get our buyers back up above, probably this 998 area here. Okay? And uh, seven, let's just call it that, or, or 17,000 here. Uh, then we'd be looking for those big green dots in here, and then the sh a possible short squeeze. Okay, I don't see it yet. Uh, in fact, this is another thing that Bookmap shows very, very nicely here. We, we notice the kind of lack of trading down here on the sell side. Well, we can also look here uh, and you see some buying up here and then look here. Okay, this is exhaustion. There's no buying up here. In fact, it's a lower high in the structure. Not, not by a lot, but slightly. Okay, and there's no buying here. So we rotate back down a little bit and we find sellers and they are able to take it to a, a, a lower low here, just in this small structure. Now this is kind of micro structure, but, but all of these um, uh, ideas here in structure, they play out on larger time, they, they play out on all time frames. You, you can even look at a monthly chart uh, and it is the same in the order flow. It's just a lot more trading, uh, a lot more transactions. All right, so here again, Retest, exhaustion, sellers. Now, now it looks like they want to move it. All right, so they're going to try to move it back down to the low here, uh, and uh, we'll see here. Okay, uh, it could be a trap because uh, buyers have come back in, but we're watching it closely here. Okay, primary scenario is still to the downside. Not getting our buyers in here. Not getting up here. There's just not enough buying pressure yet.
Okay, so uh, anyway, uh, this is kind of the basics in here. Uh, and uh, uh, I'll go through the questions a bit here. Uh, and we'll take a look at maybe a few other symbols as well. Uh, uh, we can also take a look at crypto uh, if you guys like. Uh, let me uh, uh, get to a few of the questions. Okay, Joyas, Joyas, you're you're unable to sign up uh, using that that um, the link there. Uh, you can also reach out to support. We have uh, I'll put this into the chat for you uh, as well. Okay, I'll put both both links in here. Okay, now this is in the chat box. Uh, Urvashi has also been posting in there. Okay, there's a few links in there for you. Okay, one is the link to bookmap truedata.in and then the other one is support at truedata.in okay guys look at our secondary scenario here see it can you see it can you see the volume now all right let's look if we can get our short squeeze back up into some of these areas here okay so it wasn't ready here we see the selling coming in uh, and then we come back, buyers come and they take it right back here. And we're still like, ah, no, primary scenario is still to the downside. Once we see this up here, we're looking for the break. You can see the buying up here at the top of the range. And that's when they broke it. Okay. So again, understanding pressures or volume uh, within the structure. All right. So now, now we're looking for follow through though. So we're looking for, again, more buyers up here at uh, 17,006 and then continuation to the upside, all right? And then let's start to kind of mark out where we think it might go next, okay? Well, you can look at your high volume nodes, for example, here at 16, uh, maybe that's a good area. Or you can also look at this area where it broke from up here that we outlined earlier uh, in the webinar up here around 25, which is actually a low volume node. So high volume node, low volume node, whatever. If you're looking at, if you're a volume profile trader, but you can also just look at the structure and breaks of structure. And obviously this is gonna be a low volume node. Okay, it has to be. We have lots of volume and then a quick break and then lots of volume and a quick break, et cetera. Uh, so uh, nice, uh, nice buying in here. I'm still looking to see if they can press this higher uh, and uh, uh, get up into, just to test some of these areas. Again, even in this time frame here, and we're, we're seeing these, these buyers in here, the overall trend is down, all right? So it's gonna take some quite a bit of buying in here to try to lift it up into some of these areas. And we're open to that, we're watching, we're waiting for this scenario here uh, to start to unfold. All right, so uh, uh, let's see, point made, and let me move on to, um, Okay, so I think I answered your question, uh, Joyesh. Uh, Arun, I, I, I think, I, I hope I've been demoing how you can start to look for areas to test uh, and why due to market structure and volume within it. Um, so uh, I, I hope that has been helpful. Let me, let me know if uh, uh, you have other questions on it. Um, Uh, there is backfill data, uh, uh, Rupak, yeah, uh, and, uh, uh, you know, I, I've got some backfill data in here from yesterday. You can see this is the uh, overnight, uh, but uh, not a whole lot uh, right now, uh, but uh, yes, you can get backfill data in here as well. Uh, not for all symbols, uh, but for uh, uh, many of them, okay? Uh, let's see. Can we use bookmap index volume? Uh, there are um, many symbols available from true data. Okay, poor none. And uh, all right. Ashok, you like the uh, interest, interesting stuff here, interesting TA. All right. Uh, and few more questions then we'll get we'll move on that is correct you will not see uh, uh, 
B pin, you will not you will not see the um, uh, resting orders uh, in the heat map. Uh, though, um, as uh, Capel had mentioned, uh, uh, some of that will be available in the, in the near future. All right. Um, yeah, uh, Manish, I think that the, um, uh, the, it would be best to get the latest version. I would, I would, uh, recommend that you get book map 7.3. Yeah. And we'll take a look at the sweeps here. Uh, we'll look at the bank nifty right now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Yeah. So, uh, all right guys, well, here's what ended up happening. And this is why, you know, even though we saw this buying coming in here, um, as we just had mentioned, uh, we're still in a downtrend, right? So let me get the candlesticks off here. It kind of gets in the way. Um, we're still in a downtrend. Now, this is something really important, especially in a, in a trending market. You can see this really pretty clearly, okay? This is a, a, a really helpful uh, uh, insight here uh, that is a part of the education that we talk about who's in control and why. Uh, and um, uh, just, I, I'm going to po pose the question in here. Uh, who do you think is in control uh, in this marketplace, and where's the most obvious place uh, that they took control? Okay, what what price level or or time? No one. Come on, somebody. Uh, well, all right. So I'll, I'll go through it here. It's it's. This is very very simple stuff. Okay, Vikas, there you go. Um, okay, got a few people in here. Uh, Sixteen nine eighty. Mm, yeah, I mean, uh, I understand what you're saying. Yeah, right down here. That's a good one. Uh, uh, this is a, a little a little different here. Um, and uh, let's see, another answer here was at 945. Okay, so yeah, somewhere maybe around here, uh, I think you're talking about. Um, so at the, you know, close to the open here. Um, uh, or no, I'm sorry, um, that would not be the right time. Um, anyway, what, what I'm looking for, there's actually kind of an, uh, a couple of answers, but the clearest one I think is in here. And you can see where the sellers came in uh, and moved this lower. Okay, also up here, but uh, you know, there's some selling here, some sideways action, but clearly here they they felt they followed through to the downside, uh, and that's where these buyers came in and back, and they retested back up into that area here to to test and see is there still you know any interest in buying and taking this higher here, uh, trying to squeeze it higher. There wasn't. Uh, and it just kind of uh, dribbled off here. And once you can see that once we get down below some of these buyers in here, the selling starts to pick up uh, and we get this uh, nice move to the downside here. Okay. All right, let's take a quick look over the bank nifty um, and uh, a pretty similar price action. Uh, it's already, um, it not only did it did that move, but we can see the retest right back up. Uh, and um, uh, yeah, now uh, a bit of sideways uh, action here uh, right now. Yeah, so this one's going sideways. Uh, it's still in a downtrend. Uh, however, we're starting to note um, in, the, in the price structure, uh, this move back up here to these highs here that are just slightly lower, uh, each one here, but it's still slightly lower. Okay, so uh, we'd look for breaks in that and then maybe comes back down and then it makes a higher low down here. Uh, you can start to see maybe a trend reversal uh, start to kind of form based on price structure. And then you'll see the volume start to tra trade differently in that price structure as well. Instead of more selling at lower lows in here, uh, you'll start to see a little less selling maybe or retest and less selling. Uh, and then you'll start to see a cluster of buying at some of these areas in here, okay? And that's how you start to you'll you'll start to note the shift in the order flow uh, with the volume and the and the price structure uh, together, okay? So uh, uh, anyway, uh, that's the bank Nifty there. Uh, we can take a look at the uh, uh, Reliance here. 
uh, as well. Uh, it too is uh, uh, off to the downside here and just breaking as well. Okay, uh, Tata Motors. Okay, not a whole lot going on in there right now. Uh, and uh, yeah, I have um, ISEC as well. Interesting one there. Uh, down in this area here, start, starting to see a lot of buying in here. You can also look at cumulative volume delta I have in the, in the chart here. This is one of the indicators that you get. Uh, and uh, uh, CVD, cumulative volume delta, very, very simple, straightforward indicator. Uh, it is showing you uh, the um, buyers minus sellers plotted in the subchart over time. So a lot of times, like, uh, you know, when you get absorption, which means uh, you maybe get heavy selling, but price doesn't go anywhere, it means someone's on the other side taking the other side of that trade and price cannot get through it. Well, you'll see cumulative volume delta drop like a rock, uh, but uh, uh, price isn't. So that's where you get some divergences in here. And we're starting to see maybe a bit of divergence here because um, note how uh, price is basically just kind of going sideways, but uh, most of the transactions within this sideways range here are is buying. And cumulative volume delta is showing that here. All right. So now, this is just an indicator, though. Okay? It's not a signal. This is a confluence. We're starting to understand within this range here, we're starting to understand the volume, where it's transacting, or who, who's, who's transacting. Right? So if we're going to see follow through on this, this is what we look for here in bookmap. We look for very little selling down here, and then we'd be looking for buyers here, right here around this, um, uh, what, 50, 50 um, or 532 and a half. Okay, and we're looking for green dots in here and that move higher. All right. Okay, uh, I can briefly show you, I, I do want to show you this. I want to show you how to connect. Uh, and uh, so we've gone over the basics. We've gone over um, understanding how to read it and, and um, uh, different scenarios and how to gain an edge uh, using this uh, uh, visualization here uh, to get and make better insights uh, for your trading decisions. Uh, then, uh, and we went over a bit of the backfill data. Uh, so let's just uh, uh, jump over to crypto quickly in here. This is um, with the heat map now. This is the level two data. In fact, it's full depth, meaning that if I zoom vertically here, uh, all of these price levels are live. Okay. So, uh, uh, and just zooming in here. And uh, uh, this is basically now we're looking at not just two levels in here, or I'm sorry, two elements in here uh, in, uh, in book map of best bid and offer and volume that's transacting on that best bid and offer. But we have the third element, which is the, the depth, which all this is, uh, is just showing you liquidity. So uh, the heat map and scale up here, red and orange, very high liquidity, then yellow, white, blue, and then black is the least amount of liquidity. Uh, and uh, it's recorded. Not only do you see it currently to the right of the vertical white line here, you see it historically, okay? Because Bookmap records all of that. So, well, there's sellers up here. There's supply up here uh, around this uh, 38,200 level, uh, and then there's buyers down here around uh, this uh, 37,650 uh, level, okay? And we're kind of right in between it right now, and and not a whole lot going on here at the moment. Okay, we're just right at the figure at, at 38,000 basically uh, and going sideways. So not getting a whole lot out of this right now, uh, but uh, that's what we're seeing uh, in, uh, in crypto. I just wanted to briefly show this to you as well. Uh, you will have access to that. Uh, so uh, uh, that's a, a, a nice offering there. Um, all right, so uh, how to connect now. Uh, so when you download and you install Bookmap, uh, it will come with the um, uh, connector here, right? So uh, uh, you can manage your connections in here, but basically what you'll do is you come up to, you'll install your book map, you'll download it, you'll install it, uh, and then uh, click on connections. Uh, and then what you're going to do is um, uh, 
uh, configure a connection. We'll go there. Uh, and then you'll um, add a connection here. And then in the drop down here, click on that. And you'll scroll down. And you should see true data in there. Okay, and click on that. And now I'm, this is my second true data connection here. So it, it, it put a one here uh, in, in the uh, connection name. Uh, once you sign up uh, via the link that uh, is in the chat there, uh, that uh, Urvashi and I have, have put into the uh, uh, GoToWebinar chat, uh, click on that and sign up. And once you sign up, you'll get your user ID and your password. Uh, and you'll input them here and you'll click OK. All right, so now that's the first step. Uh, and um, uh, once you've done that, uh, then come back up to connections, uh, and then you'll select the box here. You'll see true data listed in here, uh, and then you'll select the box, uh, and then it will, it will connect. And you'll see text that will tell, tell you that it's connecting. Um, right now, you need to wait until the markets are open uh, in order to get data. Okay, so that's a detail there, but that's an important one. Uh, and then once it's open, then you can start to get your backfill data that we mentioned earlier. All right, so now once you've made the connection, the next step is you click on the plus tab. You'll see the plus tab way over here on the left. Uh, click on that. Uh, and then in here from the platform dropdown, you select true data. Uh, and then depending on the um, uh, exchange and the symbol in here, so, for example, if you want to look at uh, uh, Reliance, uh, you know, you, you would type it in here uh, or type something else in here. Uh, you know, if it's, uh, you know, Tata Motors, um, you, you would just start typing that in and you'll see it here. Uh, and, uh, you know, we already have it here as the equities. I just wanted to show you where how you can see it in the drop down like this. Uh, you um, uh, can add the tick size here. In this case, I put in 0.5, but you can put in one, um, whatever you like, uh, and um, uh, size granularity as well. And then you, you click subscribe. And that's it. Uh, and then it will pop up in a new tab uh, here, okay, to, you know, to the right. All right, that's it. Uh, and then uh, you should be up and running. All right, so let me get to a few more questions, and then... Uh, uh, I'll uh, uh, turn it back over to uh, Capital, and uh, and he's he's got some uh, other details to go through for you. All right, let's see. Um, how can you determine between the distinction between uh, less buying and more selling? This it this is all it's all graphical uh, representation here. Uh, the larger the dot size, the more the selling. Or the or the like the, if it's a big red dot, that means there's quite a bit of selling compared to a smaller red dot. Okay, now it's a good question. You can use the data tip tool here and hover over these areas, uh, and you can see the volume here. Uh, you get what you see here is the date, the time, what was on the bid here, and then the volume. Okay, so uh, quite a bit of volume in here, uh, you know, over a million. Uh, let's go to a smaller red dot like this one here. And you can see it's like 3,700. Okay, so, you know, huge, huge volume here, very, very little volume here. Okay, now here's that same phenomenon we saw earlier back over here. Uh, sellers, not a whole lot of sellers. Look at the buyers. I'm looking for them to take it back up to about here at uh, 970 here just to test it see if there see if there's uh, if if they can reach back up to here uh, and just test it here uh, and um, uh, because this is where they have taken control again of the market okay we saw multiple areas uh, where they've taken control um, you know we, we set up here uh, also in here uh, and then uh, there was also an answer in here with this very, very quick move to the downside. Um, so uh, uh, one more thing I want to briefly show you. I'm going to show you the sweeps uh, and absorption indicator. Very simple indicator, but um, uh, it is um, very insightful. 
Uh, and actually, let me go through the whole process here of, of showing you how to add it here. This will, this will just take a moment here, uh, and uh, this will help you out quite a bit, though. Okay, so what you'll do first uh, is you'll go to bookmap.com. Uh, and then you'll click on the More button here. Uh, and then you go to the Bookmap Knowledge Base here. All right. Once you're in the Bookmap Knowledge Base here, you're actually in the, the User Guide section by default. Click on the Add-ons over here. Now you're in the Bookmap Add-on section of the Knowledge Base. Uh, and then all the add-ons are listed in the left-hand side here. Uh, you'll see the absorption indicator and the sweeps indicator here. Uh, let's click on absorption. And then uh, you'll see the uh, article or the information in the middle. And on the right-hand side is kind of a guide. It, it just scrolls you down the page here. <clears throat> we'll click on installation. Uh, and uh, w this is where you download it. So download it here, and it will download it. Let's go to the sweeps, installation. And uh, we have it here. We'll download it. Okay, so now we've downloaded it. Now we go back to Bookmap, uh, and we'll go to um, the Configure Add-ons here. Click on that, and we're going to add it. Okay, so add it here, uh, and then we go find that those downloads we just uh, just downloaded. Here's the sweeps. I'm going to double click on it, select it, and load it. Uh, and I have it here. Now let's add also the absorption. Okay. Uh, and then now we've added it in here, but we haven't selected it. So select it, and then let's click on it here to the text. Okay. And then now we can display it in here. Uh, and I'm not going to go through it in detail. Uh, I'm just going to tell you what it does. Uh, it's very, very simple. Within two and a half seconds here of time, we're looking for 60 over 65,000 uh, to transact. Okay, but here's the key though too for the sweeps over two at least two price levels, at least two. All right, so that's indicative of a book sweep uh, and likely a stop run as well. Okay, so we don't have MBO data for stops and icebergs. Uh, but uh, to, to know and verify that, but you can see these sweeps here. So look at this massive sweep right here to the downside. This is capitulation uh, and uh, a lot of people getting stopped out. Okay, now we, as we left off, we left off right around in here uh, with these buyers coming in looking for a retest back up to this 970 level. So you can see that's already unfolded. Okay, by just understanding the order flow down here and seeing the buyers starting to come in here, we're just looking for that test up to here. Okay, maybe they can continue. They have. Uh, they they kind of made it up to uh, 980, but uh, I don't see any buying up here right now. So likely a, a retest back down to 960 here. You know, something like that. Uh, it's just understanding. If there's no buyers in here, well, the sellers are going to take it back down to to where they can where they can trade. All right. Uh, anyway. Uh, that's how you add the stops or the sweeps and the absorption. Uh, and we can zoom in here and take a look at it. Uh, the, um, uh, it, it, it's showing you these, these just massive uh, transactions here to the downside in a very, very short time frame. Uh, and then we zoom out and they'll aggregate all together uh, in uh, multiple, uh, uh, w within that two and a half seconds. So we have multiple um, price levels. Uh, and uh, a, a large, large transaction that took place there, okay, or large transactions. Uh, and that is your book sweep, and most likely it's your stop run as well, okay, or liquidations. It could be liquidations as well. Uh, all right, so uh, absorption indicator, let's just quickly cover that, um, and um, I'll, I'll deselect the stops and add absorption. This is even simpler than the sweeps indicator. Within two and a half seconds, show me um, at least 5,000 that have transacted within two and a half seconds, and that's it. There's no, there's no, uh, the, the big difference between absorption, which makes sense, uh, and sweeps is we're not looking for multiple price levels, just at the same level. So, uh, and, and you can see that here, 
Okay, so lots trading at these areas. And see how it's starting to outline? Now this would also show sweeps in here on this one, and, and we know it showed it on this one here, or, or this one here. Um, so, uh, but, but see how you can, you can see how this is giving you additional insight uh, at these swings. That's where you're seeing the absorption. Okay, so again, this is not a signal service or anything like that, but it gives you the additional insight. Uh, and you can start to piece this together within those two other um, uh, 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 items here on the chart, the price structure and the volume within the price structure. All right. Uh, sure, Vikas, um, what, the, what was the difference um, between SVP and CVP? Yes, good question. Uh, we use this quite a bit in Bookmap. Uh, uh, the CVP stands for chart range volume profile and SVP is session range volume profile. That's it. It's, it's pretty simple. So we use this viewable chart range to show data. So if I zoom in here, go, let's go to the current market, and I zoom in here, see how I'm getting a, 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 a volume profile here only for the viewable data. Whereas the SVP is showing it from when I opened up my book map or the backfill data. It includes backfill data as well. All right, so it, it has all of that data in here. Uh, this allows you to kind of compare, uh, you know, smaller time frames with larger time frames, uh, and kind of uh, really, you know, look at areas in here. Like, okay, all right, so, you know, I'm I'm not really seeing too much out of this one to be honest right now. Um, it's kind of equal in here, but uh, yeah, I don't know uh, if if we can. Uh, Maybe we don't see some selling. We are seeing some selling in here. Uh, so maybe they can kind of take this a bit, bit lower here. But uh, uh, let's see if, um, if if buyers came back in and traded it through the low volume node here, they likely will trade back up into some of the higher volume nodes in here or maybe top of the range here. All right. But uh, not seeing that right now. So likely uh, we were looking for our pullback, right, to about here. It's already done it. Um, let's see if we get more sellers in here actually uh, right now and let's see if they can take it back down to maybe this swing or these these this kind of uh, high volume node down in here okay 950 or so all right yeah uh, visible range uh, ses session range if I zoom all the way out you can see that these are both equal basically uh, now because it's, it's including all this the viewable range is the total session as well okay all right if big sellers move price higher what does it indicate um, well yeah, sometimes you, you'll see that uh, it, it depends on the order flow. I mean, typically for price to move higher, I mean, what you're looking at is more and more um, uh, buyers, aggressors uh, to, to move it higher. Uh, in stocks, um, a lot of times what you'll see is um, a big selling transactions, but it's absorbed. Uh, and, uh, and then price kind of inches um, um, uh, higher but not on a whole lot of buying and then you'll see another large selling transaction uh, and uh, uh, you know so you, you have this kind of weird phenomena where there's large sellers uh, but price is going higher all right so it depends you'll have to kind of zoom in and this is one of the beauties here with bookmap is you can zoom in uh, and zoom into those areas and and look at the details uh, and extrapolate meaning from those from those details Okay, all right, so uh, that was a, just a, a, an overview here of what Bookmap is, um, how to read it, uh, the elements on the chart, uh, you know, how to connect it, how to get your um, um, add-ons in here, and we, and we briefly covered uh, the uh, sweeps and absorption. There's more to go over there, uh, as well as uh, cumulative volume delta, VWAP, um, uh, point of control, and some of the other add-ons that you also get. Uh, with uh, with your subscription. All right. 
uh, yeah, we're going we're going to be doing um, uh, a B pin. We're going to be doing uh, not only do we plan on doing more um, of these um, educational webinars, uh, but we uh, also plan on uh, bringing in some uh, uh, traders uh, that uh, are experts in uh, uh, Indian markets. Okay, that's what they do, uh, and uh, um, you know you probably know uh, some of them. So uh, uh, yeah, we're uh, planning on doing that, as well as, uh, you know, come to our Discord uh, channel. Uh, Urvashi has put it into the chat there. Um, I'll show you where it is as well uh, here on Discord, and I'll put it into the chat for you too. Uh, just, um, let's see, I just had it. Scroll down a little bit here, Bookmap India. Okay, and uh, yeah, I can give you the link here as well. and put it right into the chat here for you. There you go. And uh, and yeah, come come join the, uh, the the conversation here. All right. Uh, is there a heat map for depth on NICE or uh, NSE? Um, no, uh, Vikas, that's uh, what we were just covering is level one data right now. Um, and uh, uh, But there will be um, more uh, level two data added in the future here. Okay. All right. So I don't know, uh, Capital, if you had more to, uh, to add or uh, Urvashi, if you had some other slides that you wanted to go over. Uh, could you just show uh, one of the users how did you enable CVD? He's asking. Oh sure, yeah. Uh, CVD is um, uh, very very simple. Uh, so there's a the sub panel down here. Uh, there's a little arrow here, and just click on it and open it up. Okay. Now if you don't see CVD all the already loaded in here, I think it is just by default. But what you can do is you come up to Studies Configuration up here. And it has a bunch of the add-ons in here. Okay, these are these are add-ons that come with the. Uh, they're already downloaded within Bookmap. That's the that's the distinction between this button and this button here. Okay, remember we had to go to the the add-ons um, knowledge base and add these in here. Okay, that's that. And then these are already inside Bookmap with the studies configuration. Here's your VWAP. I'm going to add that on the chart. Uh, and then we're also going to add in the uh, cumulative volume delta. It's here. Just check the box and you can click on uh, this uh, text here. Uh, and there you go. Okay. Now I'll also point you toward um, some videos uh, in, um, well, it's part of our education. Uh, it's on our YouTube channel. Uh, there's a, a features and components area. I think if you probably just search YouTube for a bookmap CVD, uh, you'll get the video. All right, uh, and there's some uh, some kind of pretty pretty nice uh, features in here for filtering uh, for larger players or smaller players or whatever. You can have multiple CVD lines uh, by adding new ones here, for example, um, whatever you like. Okay. Um, Amit, um, yeah, so maybe I gave you the wrong link in there. I mean, that's what I copied, uh, but I know I have another one in here. This should work for sure. It'll, you'll just need to then find the book map um, uh, or the, the, the India. Um, I uh, have yeah. actually given him the direct access, like the direct link, so he should be able to access it right now. Okay. Pasting. Yeah, it's a direct one. So just click on the link and you would be directed towards Bookmap India channel. Okay, great. All right, so uh, I, I think I've gone through all of your questions. Um, yes, uh, so uh, Kapil, there's a question for you uh, specifically. So I think uh, the question is more or less around the level two data. So can you like provide uh, some insight with the batch of level two data? Like are we coming up with something like that in the future? Yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, so uh, uh, we started with uh, level one data, which is for NSC, equities, futures and uh, currencies. 
currently and for MCX also. So we are just uh, analyzing how things go. We are adding already in the process of adding BSC for the time being because this was an exchange we were adding. So we've directly gone for level two data, which is the max available over there. So you'll get five depth uh, bid ask with BSC, which should be there soon. Uh, as we see uh, interest grow, we will be going for level two and level three of NSC. NSC does not provide more than five deep in uh, futures and options, but uh, for equities, there is an option. Uh, but uh, NSC, uh, the price implications for uh, each client uh, are also on the higher side. So we'll be evaluating all these things as we see the uh, community grow and uh, we'll see the demand from the community and uh, in fact it's an organic kind of growth wherein you are learning without uh, uh, the depth to begin with and then we'll slowly add depth uh, alongside and then uh, you will be able to analyze it better. So as we go along we assure you that uh, we are going to be adding depth uh, um, from time to time. All right, thank you for that, couple. Uh, there's a question around uh, technical difficulty. So some people are not able to register themselves on True Data's website, and some of them don't see True Data in the platform drop-down list. So for these kind of technical queries, where can they reach out to? So you can reach out uh, directly to support at truedata.in if you have this kind of problem. We had some teething troubles in the beginning, but most of them have been sorted out. Uh, you should be able to upgrade to uh, the correct version. Say so you are upgrading from basic to pro and once the upgrade is done, you'll have to close bookmap and restart it. Also, people were saying that they could not see the uh, add-on indicators. Now today, Bruce has shown you how to add them. So you'll have to follow those steps to add those indicators and they will all be fine. If you still have some issues uh, coming up, uh, please write an email to support at truedata.in. We also have a live chat on our website. You can go there and somebody will uh, take your screen and help you out uh, if this, uh, you know, the small issues to be addressed. Um, just a, a, a couple more quick notes on that, Kapil. Um, I think um, maybe downloading the latest uh, beta version of Bookmap, the 7.3 version, uh, yes. might be helpful. Uh, yes. And uh, <clears throat> then you, you should see it in, in where I said, like, again, uh, when you configure your add-ons, uh, you may see it under here, under your Manage Connections. Uh, and if you scroll down in here, uh, you'll see it available for installation way down here. Uh, and you may, need, you may need to install it. You can see I've already installed it, so it's here. Uh, right now, I don't install it. I can remove it. But uh, uh, anyway, uh, nonetheless, it should be under here, under um, when you look at the, and you add a connection in here, and then in the dropdown, you'll see it. It, it should come in by default. Okay. Okay, and the preferable version you should be having is uh, Bookmap version 7.3, build 26. Uh, that is the version. Uh, Bruce, could you click on your help and show us with your about the version you have currently? Is it the same version or is it some other one? Uh, click on help about. Yeah, that is where you do click and you will know your version from there and then uh, you'll be able to see whether you have 7.3 uh, build 26 okay that is the version you need to have so uh, currently uh, subscription offer you're asking for these are the inaugural inaugural uh, launch rates which we are giving you uh, so please go ahead and buy them you can even buy an annual subscription even if there's a price increase in the future you will be logged in. Uh, do I need to buy Bookmap independently? No, uh, you don't need to buy it independently. You can directly buy from the Bookmap data. The data and Bookmap both are uh, combined as one. So Ashok is actually facing a problem. It says that he's saying that he's not able to figure out the connections. Uh, so Ashok, you can write to us at the email address mentioned in the chat, support at truedata.in. Ashok, you can go right away after this webinar to our chat, live chat, and they'll help you with this. Uh, Vikas, uh, we don't have any uh, mobile app currently for this. What else? Any other questions? I think that's about it. So, um, 
So uh, thank you so much, everyone, for actually joining today's session. Thank you so much, Kapil and Bruce, for providing great insights. Um, so uh, post this webinar, we'll be sharing the recording of the webinar with everyone. Uh, so we'll be sending out emails. So please, um, you know, have a look at the webinar, uh, webinar's recording, and let us know your feedback. Your feedback means a lot to us. Uh, also, as Bruce has mentioned, uh, we are pretty active on Discord uh, channel as well as on Telegram. So, you know, you can come over there, hang out with like-minded traders, uh, discuss what's going on in the market and not just post your, you know, technical questions. I mean, we would, you know, encourage you to post um, what's actually going on on a daily basis, right? Like if you're using Bookmap to trade, like how are you using it? Or what sort of insights are you getting? So, you know, you can share everything over there and, you know, we'll be happy to uh, hear insights from you. So thank you so much, uh, everyone. Have a good day. Goodbye.